Good afternoon, Sarah. We're in the lovely market village of Chaos. We're not in Chaos. No, no more so than normal. Uh, we're in Chaos. Chaos. Can't quite pronounce it correctly, even after all these years. So uh, this property is on the old road to Tamar, between Coimbra and Tamar. We're only about 20 minutes from Tamar here. Uh, 15 minutes. Depends who's driving. Um, and here, as always happens, vehicles turn up. It's just, it's not that busy a road. This is the, uh, the little people who are looking after the elderly people who have stopped here to deliver some poster or something. So what we have is, if we were to go this way, we'd go and we'd meet up with the M110, which is the main road between Coimbra and Tamar, before they built the A13. That's where most of the traffic goes. This is just local traffic. If we go that way, we're going in direction um, Fatima, and we're also going in the direction to Agrawal, which is one of Portugal's famous river beaches. There's lots of river beaches, but they're not all famous. They've actually done the area up around the water very nicely in the last few years. And the water is positively freezing. <laughs> as it comes straight out refreshing, of refreshing darling refreshing it's refreshing refreshing yes <laughs> extremely refreshing so if it, what you can say i uh, imagine as paul's walking along is that from this way we've got lovely rolling hills and wind and rolling hills that go all the way around to the back of the property and as we walk up here up what we had behind us if you look left You've got the cafe where we've just had a coffee. Very nice coffee too, I have to say. Yes, a good coffee. There is such a thing as yeah, I'm, I'm going to go back because on that little square behind where Sarah was standing, they hold a market every Sunday. Yeah. And every fourth true. Sunday, it's quite a, quite a decent sized market. And every other Sunday, it's just like local produce. Yeah. But that's good. You can pop out and get your veg. So actually, it's very handy for your weekly shopping, actually. And she's got so many strawberries, I'm sure she's going to have too many. Um, <laughs> Go beg some. Yeah. So, walking up this way, unfortunately, it's windy. Yeah. As you might have noticed. We're hoping that the sound quality is OK. I uh, hope you're getting this in, because this is... I'm going to do that now. Yeah, what, what you're getting from the rear of the house. When you're stumbling back up, I mean, walking back up from the cafe, these are the views you'll get. Now, this property here is the neighbouring property. Now, unfortunately, it's just been abandoned for so many years that the roof's gone in, the wall's gone in now, and now it's a, it's a complete project. But what we have got here is this property's got a history. It's been in the village a long, long time. So downstairs was a shop, and um, I spoke to a gentleman the other day he just lived just on the lane down there and he was saying, oh, yes, they used to sell grain and all sorts of things. And upstairs, he was a watchmaker and jewellers. And the building behind, which you don't see, was a gold maker. And so they had a whole, there was a whole thriving little industry going on here. So these, there's lots of doors in this house. We yeah. can't, I think we've got eight. So this is your bar entrance. This is your shop entrance and that's your house entrance. And then as we go round... I imagine you'd probably make the back of the house your actual main entrance, and this would just be a nice facade. Something to notice is, me and my lintels, they're arched, and that's quite unusual. It's very, very nice. It's very symmetrical. Yeah, more or less. Unfortunately, the water company damaged that, but there we go. Um, so this could be very, very pretty. I usually like to think of exposing the stone, but I think the front of this, it's got a style of its own. Yeah. You can expose the stone at the back if you want that feature. Yeah, I have I thought about that. I mean, it would look fantastic either way. But yeah. you could tell the quality of what the build was, usually by the lintels and the yeah. decorative standard of it, because lintels like that do not come cheap. And they're on all of the windows and yeah. all of the doors. It's not the just front. your standard, yeah, on the front. On the front. Um, it's not just your standard square dressed stone lintels. 
These would have cost... missed the one that's underneath, which is your standard square. These would have cost a pretty penny in the day. Yeah, well, look, you've even got, you know, you've got guttering, highly unusual stuff, especially 50 years ago, and the little... Yeah, little trims. ...parts on top, I don't know what to call that. Hello. Right, so here we have yet another door. And, lo and behold, underneath, we've got yet another door. And next to that, we've got, oh, yet another door. So... You know, just for now, Sarah, Sarah, yes. just for now, and we'll just, we'll just cut. I want to show everyone from the air. Ah, right, OK. Hello. I am going to start this with a boundary map. There is a bit missing, as I did not get a picture without the corner clipped off. But as you can see, it runs down the side of the lane, and there's a basic rectangle. As Sarah has already said, this property is very centrally located for a number of places of interest. 15 minutes to Tamar is a big bonus, as is the close proximity to several river beaches, not least Agrawal at 9 minutes, which is a famous river beach and is very popular. It is 1 hour and 20 minutes to Lisbon Airport and an hour to Nazare. We always have properties coming onto the market, so please subscribe to the channel and like the video so that you do not miss out on the latest offerings and check out our other social media channels just search for pp property and you, you will find us of course a share or two helps enormously i would just like to mention that we now offer a buyer's agent service we can find you any property anywhere in portugal don't believe me email us with what it is you want in detail be realistic and we will find it for you it costs nothing but your time. If you want the full explanation of how that works, click in the top right corner of the video. There is a link to that video below. Or maybe you have a house to sell. YouTube combined with our social media presence sets us apart from other agencies. So if you would like to know what that looks like, contact me now, paul.stubbs at expportugal.com. Likewise, if you want to boost your chances of selling your property, get in touch now. So let's get back to the tour. The area around Shouse is full of natural wonders. I've already mentioned the river beaches of the River Nabao, but there are also the lakes of the River Zezere, which offers all sorts of water sports, such as wakeboarding, water skiing, fishing, canoeing, diving and pretty much anything else you can get up to in a massive lake. So, well, that's enough from me. Let's get back to the main property tour. Thank you very much. Well, back from the air now. And the uh, church bells are ringing. The just church every bells time. are ringing in the distance there. Very nice. But the, no. dog, the dog has stopped barking. Yeah, but he's still behind you, so I'd be quiet. I know. I know. Um, so, Paul will have shown you I imagine it marked the boundaries and it's basically a rectangle of land but all of this building is stone so actually it's got a large stone footprint but I have this tiny little bit here which I think you just used as a storage shed always handy to have um, but for a stone property um, <laughs> it's actually hard to find one with such a big footprint where the underneath is actually of a good habitable height so, oh look, another door, boom, boom. and we're going to walk down, I think we're going to walk down the road and show... Well, we can't get back onto the land. Oh, we, we can do that though, yeah. Yeah, we just... Oh, what have we got here? I mean, we've got a lot of ivy, but there's vines under here. The ivy's done a marvellous job of making it private. But under here is a fence, it's just a... Um, it's yeah, wire, wire fence. And fence, yeah. So, but here's the old, look, the old vines are here and they are still producing. They're, they're, they're amazing. They always look completely dead and then they pop up again. Yeah, they just need a prune and uh, the, all the ivy removing if you yeah, want to. Probably a bit of TLC. So here, slightly wibbly wobbly, but it's a straight line. We've more or less got a rectangle of land. It goes from here to, uh, well, well, we you can see it. trees at the end. Yeah, you can see all. You've seen all that from the air already. So 
So, I mean, this vine's clearly very happy because he's gone onto the olive tree. You just have to <laughs> persuade him to go back up the other way. Yeah. So we've got a couple of orange, olives, sorry, and then we've got four or five oranges and clementines. You know, clementines or tangerines, not sure which. A quince. Oh. Uh, and I do believe a pomegranate. Yes. The pomegranate is in flower at the moment and the pomegranate is sat next to the well. So it always tends to do well. Ha <laughs> ha, boom boom. <laughs> um, now, just to see if you can see the levels going on, we just explained that this property, you might have seen it for sale years ago, if you're someone who's been watching for years, um, because it was bought by the previous owners but there'd been a lot of adaptions made to it, which it turns out weren't legal. One of those classic things that can happen to you. Yeah. So, um, this area that's concreted here, that used to be a garage coming off it. And when we go to the Sun Terrace, uh, you will see that there used to be a bathroom and kitchen on there. They were single build construction. Single but block. as I was looking down the garden now, he stood on a concrete terrace, which was the garage base. And then the land drops down. Yeah, I'm just looking at the well at the moment. Okay. I mean, you have a different take on this to me, don't you? You'd, you'd take it down to- Surprise. <laughs> you'd take it down to floor level to give uh, more room in the garden. Yeah. And I'd like to dress it up like, um, like a wishing well. And stick a gnome on top. And, yeah, maybe not a gnome. A little yeah, thing would they, wouldn't you? You know, I would not put a gnome on. There's nothing wrong. Not, there's anything wrong with gnomes. Oh gosh, yeah. That's it. sorry. Don't criticise me for my. Oh. She's gnomist. I'm sureness of well. She's gnomist. That's the problem. No, right. So you get the hole. We like to say that. As we came here the other day, I said to Paul, oh, "Don't fall down the hole." Yeah. Guess what you did? Guess what I did? Not yeah, looking. There's an olive pit. Straight down there. Generally, to be avoided falling in. No, not go far, but you'll probably hurt yourself. Yeah, no, I really was that stupid. Don't fall in the hole, fell in the hole. So here, there also used to be another block built building here where you can see that back wall, which wasn't legal. But, oh no, the vines are on this side as well. So yeah, they are completely, you can get the vines back. Oh, you could, yeah, right these come back easily. There. Yeah. And then it just drops down a little bit more and we've got a nice square garden. It's very private here. It could be a lovely garden. Yeah. Just needs just needs some tender loving care. Uh, these are well, it's one of the orange trees. You can yeah, see they're absolutely. They are really sweet. We've um, we've had them before, haven't we? Yeah, but it's not ripe yet. I'm not going to eat one now because I'm just going to put lots of silly faces. Yeah. Um, but lots and lots and lots. Of orange. Yeah, why didn't we pick any? We forgot to do that. Yeah. Sarah missed out on a scrumping opportunity. Yeah. You're most unlike her, to be honest. So, down here, this is the perfect, perfect way of doing it in a way because we've got very big land and now we're at the nightmare of having to swim it all. Whereas here, you've got a really good shaped garden and you can just look at somebody else's land and they've got to swim it. Well, all you need there is a little edge trimmer and a lawn mower, isn't it? <laughs> Unless you turn it into Except for this. Lawn I mean, mowers. pardon? Lawn mower. Here you would. Why wouldn't you? Well, yeah, okay, all right, all right. I was thinking, you're thinking tractor. Sorry, I'm used to him being like, oh, I need a tractor. <laughs> not on this much land. No, even he's not being that ridiculous. Okay, so here's your garden, and then so. You know what? I don't know why these orange trees are so short. I guess they probably needed some pruning over the years. Yeah, a bit dead there. But fruit coming along, another one hiding under there. And then. Yeah, they, they just need uh, pruning back and yeah, they need pruning. nurturing. Oh, the world's biggest fig. Well, no, but a large fig. And then this was a bit of a. Then no one knows what's this. This is like a pile of rubble and you can get no, round the well. I, I actually do know what this is. is, this, is a, this is a septic tank. Really? Yeah. 
All the way down here? Yeah, that is where the septic tank is. Well, where is it? The, the sewage in the street, so you can actually connect yeah. to main sewage. It's but too far away to that, put the septic tank. Yeah, but it is. I mean, there's the lid. It is a septic tank. It's a breeze block, sweetheart. Oh, right, okay. Well, I know it's here. Yeah, I know it's here. Right. Yeah. Um, She's always doubts me, but it is there. It's not a breeze block. Anyway, back to here. But she's right, that is a breeze block. <laughs> so you can go around here. I don't know what this is. It's something you just going. But there's space there, and you've got the back of the well, and you've got... Yeah, you can actually see just the, the fence to the... Yeah, there's the, the boundary. There's a the fence pole. And again, the ivy is doing a marvellous job of just keeping it sort of... To a level of privacy that you like. Yeah, I don't know whether to keep that or not, to be honest. These are your alien plants. It's a tough decision that they just have to make. Very what? It's a tough decision to keep the ivy or not to keep the ivy. That is the question. One of my greatest problems at the moment. Right, so... Where would you like to enter the property, dear? Oh, that might as well just be tasseled, hadn't it, and go in a vase. <laughs> she loves weeds. <laughs> but she's really good at growing them. <laughs> Kills everything else, but weeds. <laughs> she's brilliant. <laughs> right. So this goes into the part of the property that is currently separate with three doors, bonkers. It's great, door crazy in this house. Um, so you could incorporate it by going through that wall there, which we'll show you in a minute. Or you could keep this as a little, put a mezzanine in and make it a studio. Yeah. Because we are, there's a bus stop just there. You get the bus into Tamar for rental wise, a really good lake ocean. So you're not going to lose out there. It depends how big a house you want. Um, and here on the plans, I'm going to have got something to touch. Well, well, Excuse me. Sorry. Right, there we go. But, I mean, the house kind of starts here, doesn't it? It does. But this part on the plans hasn't got a roof. So you'd have to apply to put a roof. Yeah, yeah. It is a roof line. Because it, was out, so it wasn't outside area. That's the, that's the front of the bread oven. I've still got something attached to me. Anyway. Um... But it would incorporate, if you made this your main entrance, you've got two doors there going into what is the Adega. I mean, this, I mean, these stone walls do beg to be exposed, don't they? Yeah, I mean, you need to put a beam on them and secure yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, all of that. But, but they'd look beautiful, wouldn't they? Yeah, but if you just got rid of that middle bit and that was open, then you've just got loads of light going in, haven't yeah. you? Because this is quite dark in here. This is, so this is stone. Oh, I'm echoing. Um, but this is the terrace, and you can see all the piping because it was connected to water. Yeah. Um, that's your sewerage. So, yeah, it's just going straight down the garden, isn't it? Um, concrete above us, which is now part of the plans. It's all on the plans. Everything's absolutely correct with the property. Up on top of this is what we call a sun terrace, which used to have the kitchen and bathroom on it. And you could just see by the amount of light coming in, this would be a complete game changer if you just opened that door. Yeah, it would bring a lot of light in. Yeah. I mean, these old wine tanks, which are quite pretty, but they also take up an awful lot of room. Mm -hmm. Of course, remove those, um, which would require a sledgehammer and a wheelbarrow. And you, you've got a big space here. So, uh, uh, you know, I think the space outside would make a fabulous... Depends what level you want to go to with this house, because it's so big, you've got lots and lots of options, haven't you? Yeah. But um, yeah, I, think I, I think that first area would make a fabulous kitchen, because it goes straight out onto the back garden. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then you've got, like, a dining room here, and through that wall there, you could put a door when, when you could just see... A little air see the there. mesh here from yeah. the other side. I'll point That's out. another room which I think would make an absolutely amazing lounge. But we'll, but we'll get that. Well, I'll show you that. Would that, that would be the entrance, wouldn't it? If you put a door there. 
We're talking across purposes now. I know you are. I'm actually explaining something to the viewers. And um, so, yeah, if you put a door through there to there, that would become a lounge. So you've got a kitchen, lounge, and uh, the dining room. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All of this little area, so you've got some more of those looks on in there. Would you like to lead the way? No, no, no. I'll, yes, I will. Yeah, go on. I will, I will lead the way. Now, downstairs is kind of, yeah, the least developed part, isn't it? And you have to decide which way up that, you know, the house you want. You've got to have my feet on the floor, thank you. <laughs> yeah, that's always handy. But, but what I mean is, a lot of houses in Portugal have the bedrooms downstairs, don't they? And this house, yeah. this house kind of would lend itself to that. Absolutely being blind of here. Yeah, it would because I, mean, I it's just, it's a great idea because it's much cooler in the summer. Um, and B, I very much, yeah, I know I was going to say, well, I would like to live with property, but upstairs, I think we've got the attic space. It's got very, very nice eucalyptus. Yeah, well, we'll talk about the upstairs, but we yeah. upstairs, but. But you've got the terrace upstairs, you see. Yeah. So to have a lounge area where you could walk out onto that sun terrace and take your no views um, would make sense. Yeah. Okay, so this is, but this is a really good bedroom. It's a really good size. And these just need to come out. And the chairs need replacing. There's nothing stopping this being two separate houses, is there, really? You've got this, the, all the stone stairs, but it has like a different scrub. I see what you mean, yeah, you want to. And the upstairs could be a completely separate house. You could probably get two two bedroom yeah, yeah, yeah. things out of it. If yeah. you, you weren't looking for huge room sizes, yeah. Now, here's the old kitchen, and with the fireplace there. Yeah. And the back of the stairs. Now, the stairs are so steep that you're going to have to replace them. Yeah, anyway, yeah, so right? getting away from that. He might just reconfigure all of that, but here is stone and it's stone on top. So we're going from house. I think these are where the grain and everything was stored into the bar. Um, which, of course, so this has its separate entrance. And it's again, it's a good size room. Yeah. So. Now, what you don't have is any, but you've got lots of, I'm going to say, the only windows in that side. You've got two small windows on the top there, this one and this door put to glass, plenty of light. The middle one, you've got a window. Yeah. And the end one, you've got a door. Yeah, so, I mean, the electric was and um, connected to the house. And it's the water was. Outside, and the water. And, yeah. um, you know, it would cost very little to get it all reconnected. I mean, the plumbing and the electric is doing, of course. That would probably be ideal, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we're taking in the downstairs three rooms here. Yeah, I've just, just um, put out. This is where the actual bar was. This is where people got served their grog. So, um, yeah, bit of history. People are a lot of drunk people in this bar over the years, I reckon. Right. So, huge space. Oh, we better go through here, haven't we? Yeah. So, this, this, is, is, this is the room. Well, first of all, obviously, this is the, just the outside space. This is where the water would have come in. This is where the um, meter would originally have been. Uh, as you can see, the washing machine is still here. That's probably included. Um, um, that's the old lab. This is the old outside lab. So, I mean, it doesn't actually have a lab, doesn't it? A lab, a toilet, maybe. A toilet, a lavatory. That's a different thing, I think. No, I don't think so. <laughs> no, it's not. You're quite right. Okay. Um, so, here, Ta-da! three doors. Yeah, do you want to open those, Sarah, please? Let there be light. Mm -hmm. now, she's actually too puny. There you go. She's mad. So look at that. Give it a kick. Ah! If in doubt, give it a clout. Again, 
these walls would be just fabulous, wouldn't they, if they were all exposed? Oh, yeah, you could expose. It'd be really nice to have some internal exposed stonework in here. Yeah. Um, but this one, so here, beyond there, it's quite high up, wasn't it? It's above my head. Here, yeah. it's here. So there's quite a big height <laughs> differential. Yeah, you'd have to have here. You'd have to have steps, obviously. Yeah. Down um, into that room. But you could incorporate them, or you could be just a separate stick a mezzanine in, yeah. have a studio apartment. A studio apartment. And it could have a, its own little courtyard with a table and chairs, and just just be its own little rental. Actually, it could be three separate residences, couldn't it? You've got your studio apartment, a house downstairs with the adega, and that turned into kitchen, blah, yeah. blah, 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 blah. And then upstairs could be a little one, one, one. one yeah. or two bedroom um, yeah. self-contained house. Yeah, you'd have a spacious... Which we haven't actually considered before this moment, have we? No, we'd have a spacious one bedroom apart. You could have, could have two, but if we yeah. were to go for space, yeah. upstairs with the terrace. Yeah. And then downstairs... Two bedrooms. Two bedrooms. And a studio. You've got yeah. two rentals in the home. Yeah, easily. It just depends how many bedrooms you need. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How much yeah, plan is. Yeah. But should we, should we go and um, should we go and have a look up, upstairs? Okay, so from here, we're going to go back through and have a look at the upstairs. Okay. Yeah, maybe upstairs um, offers. Really nice possibilities, and the sun terrace with the views. I know you've heard me going on about them already, but they are they are worth the wait. So we'll do the sun terrace last. Okay. So we've got rather nice stairs. Very steep narrow stairs. Yeah. You have to use this incredibly sturdy handrail. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, things are facing this way. Shall we go to the shop? Bit of shopping, dear? Bit of shopping. So, this was mostly, as far as I believe, he was a watchmaker. He was definitely a watchmaker. He might have some yeah. other things. Watchmaker in general. In fact, he opened at eight and he closed at one until. Anyway. He closed at nine. Nineteen eighty nine. So it was still operating with a shop in nineteen eighty nine. Yeah. Um and from the I love the way the paint man cupboards for <laughs> So you can see a cupboard there and there was a from the floor line, you can see there was a whole bal balcony here. Not a really balcony. Paint, paint yeah, there was a there were, yeah, there was a what do you call it? Galving and a counter. A counter. Thank you. Shop counter. counter. Yeah. And they used to be, I want to say a TARDIS, but they used to be a... Um, a phone box. It's a phone box, but it was a proper red Doctor Who TARDIS here. It really was and a Doctor Who really TARDIS. Really quite funky. It's a yeah. shame they've gone, really. But just to point out, there was clearly a leak and it's been fixed. So it's fixed three or four years ago, but this has never been fixed. Yeah. So, um, yeah, but it's dry in the house, isn't it? Completely. The house is completely dry, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, um, stone walls are all in really, really good condition. Uh, okay. Obviously, the roof, I mean, I'd replace it, but it could be, it could be fixed up, but I would probably replace the roof with a modern um, style roof now. Keep the hips, because it's pretty, but I'd probably use that sandwich for this stuff. Oh, I see. No, but you keep your beans. The beans yeah, yeah. are lovely. Beans are lovely. Beans are sturdy. Yeah. I'd like to take it all up. Right. Same which You're going to go in the other... Mm, well, we're talking about the attic, so do you yeah. have to go and... When Sarah says she'll take it all up, what she actually means is she'd remove all this ceiling here. Oh, ceiling. And, um, and then have it right up to the gable, right up to the hip roof, so that you'd have, like, tons and tons of head height revolving spinny fa uh, ceiling fans and uh, I mean it would I mean I agree with you it would be spectacular up here beautiful and then just partition it off so wow. yeah I mean it's one or two bedrooms tops uh one really spacious bedroom up here I think you might be confusing people with too many options well okay yeah 
because it's this this is a property where there's a lot of different things you can do with it so it takes quite a bit of planning on figuring out what you want yeah um kind of doing it on the fly aren't we yeah so we have been here quite a lot there's the chimney breast and uh going up to the attic should i go and crack up into the attic yes okay I propped the door open so it doesn't knock your head out. Yeah, that's a good idea. It's a very heavy good, door, so good, don't knock it. Good planning. So you could keep the beams. We, we've had a look before. I mean, the beams, it's eucalyptus. Most of them are very good. You might have to replace a couple of the corner joints, like where it did leak previously. But you take it all off from the outside, replace the batten, put down your insulation and put a new roof on. Yeah, it was, that, um, it was that corner over there that had the uh, yeah it had the leak, but it was fixed a few years ago, as Sarah said. Uh, I mean, you. Uh, I mean, it's a store. It's a storage attic, or you could put it further, right. and um, make and uh, just make a glorious high ceiling um, home or rental or whatever. Yeah. And here we have, here they mix my favourite colours. And we think, guess what? We've got two more doors. It's just amazing. Yeah. So the house is going to be really light. I mean, it's actually a dull day now. We had a couple of days of sunshine. And so when this summer comes, it's just going to knock us for six. Um, but now it's cloudy. But, oh yeah, we haven't got to the terrace yet. So even out there is quite sweet. Yeah, I'll just talk but here. Down. At the front, you've just got lots of light and because yeah. there are flintals. This is down onto the, obviously down onto the street. And there's the little staircase. Stair, the stone staircase running up. Steps, steps they're called, aren't they? Um, and then there's the place which could be either a studio apartment or a lounge, depending on what you would like to do. Who we come? Hello, Hello. Another room. We've got another small room here. Now, of course, in a stone build, if you want to, these could come out. You could just open plan oh, for along. Yeah. Especially if you were what? What's that? Oh, I thought you were saying, oh, Sarah. No, I didn't. Talk about no, taking no, the no. Um, right. So. Or that could be the bathroom. I did also consider if you did half of this, the kind of perfect bathroom size, isn't it? Yeah, you could put a bath, bathroom. Because you do need a bathroom upstairs, yeah. no matter what you're doing. And then you could just open all of that, have a lounge out onto there, yeah. big room there. Yeah. But you're going to need a bathroom somewhere. Uh, but, so that, that would actually need, work quite well. That would actually need plenty of room for two bedrooms, wouldn't it? Yeah. Easily if you want, just want these bedrooms. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get rid of that chimney place. And here yeah. is the Sun Terrace. Now, you're not getting its full beauty, although you'll get better from the drone footage, because I did that the other day, um, of just how pretty the views are, because they are spectacular. I think it's not in its full beauty. What, because it's not sunny? Yeah. No, oh, okay. But it's still lovely. Yeah, no, it's still absolutely lovely. Yeah. Down there is the courtyard, uh, which, well, it's at the moment it's kind of a courtyard. It could be the kitchen. It could, it could be all sorts of things, isn't it? Yeah. Exactly. It does have endless possibilities. Possibly. And that was where the original bathroom was. Yeah. In the kitchen, which I always found a bit bizarre, but... It was actually right in the kitchen. Literally. Literally in the kitchen. In the yeah. kitchen. Yeah. I mean, it did have walls, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a bit off-putting while you see you didn't, I think, otherwise. Yeah. But... Um, while, you're cooking, while you're cooking your bacon. And you can actually, from here, you can see... The chimney stack, yeah. That although it's stone, they did... I only noticed it the other day when I went in the roof. They did put some sort of ring, ring beam on there already. Yeah. Don't go too far back. Yeah. Um, it's already been ring beam, so... That in itself leads itself to being able to keep your beams yeah. because you've already got a property that's been ring beamed yeah. and then you can just replace it. It's kind of perfect. Okay. Um, the wind has gone nippy. It's a shame. Yeah. Do you want to just, um, do you want to just say goodbye? Ta-da. Yeah. 
Are we summarising? Oh, I think we should. I think we should summarise. Well, what we've got is a very, very nice location. Okay. Even though it's on the street at the front, you're in, you're in a good area, it's a very popular area. From here, from that way, you go to Amprestes, you're going towards Alviazre, you're going to Avacasta. And then from this way, you've got Vals, which is a village with a. Yeah, I'm just getting blown away everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great joke with this. Yeah, um, which uh, is a, a small hamlet, but it has a supermarket and a cafe and a cash point. Yeah. Uh, and then another 10 minutes on and you're into Mark. Also, there's a river beach up there, which is one of those, there's loads of river beaches, which is like secret and then out to the locals. There's one up there, which you just turn right and you go sneak down and there's a bridge, which gives you shade and a lovely area for swimming. And yes, what else have we got? We've got and then we've got the views at the back. It's very quiet at the back. And you can go to a Sunday market and get your fruit and veg. And you're on a bus route, and you've got a big stone house, which is a rare thing to find these days. And it's got a good price, and I've been told to hurry up and stop waffling. And please do like and subscribe, and thanks for watching. Ciao, Bye. everybody. <laughs> so, we thought we'd take, it is 10 minutes, okay? He was right. We thought we'd come and have a look at Agrawal, and it really is much closer than I thought. It's beautiful. We're down in the valley here. Uh, obviously, it's not swimming weather yet, but we've just got the summits here and we're just going to take a quick tour around and show you what's here. Yeah, I think it was just under nine minutes that actually took me to drive here and I wasn't clogging it by any stretch of the imagination. Yeah, so the beach that I was referring to that's the other way is probably also only nine minutes. Oh, we've got a weird bridge here. So this... Is this how much it floods, maybe, sometimes? Look, there's markers there. Yeah, I mean, that, those, are, those are the flood markers, so... Documents. Yeah, in heavy rains, it does come all the way up there. So years ago, when we first came here, the houses that you're going to see were all... Um, they were all derelicts, and yeah. I... King. I haven't actually been here for years. I tend to go to the smaller ones in the summer. Um, oh, look. But I think they've all been done up. They have all been done up. I've heard about it. A few people have mentioned it. Yeah, so there's a, there'll be a cafe. I mean, obviously, it's a thriving business down here in the summer. But they literally bus trips and everything come down here. Oh, yeah. There's loads of people. Are um, we going to trip trap across the bridge? Yes, I'm assuming there's no Billy Goat Bread. <laughs> Beware of trolls. But, um, Beware of trolls. Look at that, lovely. Very pretty. Yes, this is where, obviously... If you turn right, oh, someone's got his feet in. Now oh, he's brave. Oh, that's freezing. <laughs> and it is cold. That's where they've created, literally, a swimming pool. Yeah. Um, yeah, this is where people come and generally dive in and swim around. And it is, it is mountain fed, uh, not very far away, so it's absolutely stone cold. It's just fabulous when you just really want to get that core body temperature down. So we do you swim in the river as well. You don't have to stay in the pool. Yeah, that's what we did years ago. We actually went maybe 400 meters downstream, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, so here's the cafe in front of us. And... I'm put in, which we've just driven it past, a long stretch of um, decking, a walk that goes, I don't know how far, along the river, uh, the way we've come. Maybe we'll get a glimpse of that out of yeah. the way, just on my phone or something. Um, oh, they've got two cafes. We've got a cafe, we've got a restaurant. I want to know why the water wheel isn't turning. Well, because it's not turning, you know. You have to position it to turn. Well, I want it to turn. <laughs> look, see? Oh, there you go. Look, you can see the bottom. It's about... Now, this is also relatively safe for kids. It's got steps in and... I don't know, that's probably not more than a metre and a half deep, is it? No. No, it's fabulous for swimming. 
If we could turn around and just have a look at the what they've put here. Because we've got the natural park of the Cerros uh, de, uh, de Arencanderos, which yep. is really lovely stretch. I don't know. Oh, no, this is Battaglia. Aljubarota, where there used to be big war, very famous here. Agroal. Yeah, a whole wall of information. I have no idea what that is there. Where's that? Oh, is that Fatima? Yeah. Sorry. That is Fatima. Look at it. That's why I don't recognize it. Looks like it. a giant ship, doesn't it? Look at this one. Oh, is that, is that La Reina? Yeah, the, the dinosaurs. The dinosaurs. That's yeah. where you and Jamie went with the kids. That's where we went, yeah, Christmas time with the kids. Did you do this bit? Yeah, 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 we did everything. I haven't seen that. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we've got to get a bit of cod in there. Nice bit of bacalao. Oh, yeah, it's got a whole information thing going on, hasn't it? Okay, great. Yeah, and then it goes further and further. So, yeah, it's lovely. They have done all the buildings. I've obviously. Yeah, don't, don't, don't stray off, please. Your voice will disappear when we get out of range. And there's a little weird that goes out. I mean, I think this is like the main sort of swimming hole. But, I mean, Sarah and I, years ago, we used to go about 400 metres downstream and um, sort of paddle in that. Water is actually a little bit warmer when it gets in the sun down there. And she is a bit niche. It's a huge area here, haven't they? Yeah. I mean, look at all that. This is completely area different. There. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, basically... Outside eating area for the restaurants and the cafes, isn't it? Well, also, no, this will be people bringing their picnics. I mean, lots of people will bring their own well, you bit, yeah. big, big cool box and you come for the day. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's what we tend to do. Yeah, it's just, not I many mean, river beaches that have got a cafe attached to them. No. So you pick a picnic. Fabulous pick picnic spots, isn't it? Pack a picnic. Pack a picnic. Pack a pick picnic. A picnic. <laughs> okay. Okay. Should we call that a day? Should we call that a day? I thought you said record that again. Pack a picnic. Pack a picnic. Yeah, okay. call it a day. All right, turn around. So this is Agrawal. Maybe yes, it is. we'll start doing, with really the intention for ages, we'll start doing little snippets of places. Yeah, like, they're nearby whatever property we're doing, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Ciao, well, ciao. Ciao.